Okay class, so today we are going to find a limit using factorization and multiplication with a conjugate. Sometimes when evaluating the limit of the ratio of two function in which both of these function tends to zero in the limit, it is referred to as indeterminate form. Right, this is called an indeterminate form or IDF. In such instance, the rules of limit cannot be applied directly since the answer will be undefined. In such cases, fx over gs, the ratio of these two functions, will need to be simplified by either factorizing or multiply with a suitable conjugate. Right? So first of all, we will look at uh, the method of factorizing. The factorization technique is a method that factorizes the numerator or the, de the denominator of the function and then limiting the simplified function. Right? The next one, we are going to multiply with a suitable conjugate when the conjugate multiplication technique is used when the limit of a rational function involving set and with result of indeterminate form by direct substitution. Right, now we look at the mind map here. Okay, so when we have a rational function, right, for the first one, we have to try to do direct substitution. Right, that means we just have to substitute the value when x approaching any value. But if you get an indeterminate form, for example, 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or infinity minus infinity, it is either we use factorization or we should multiply with a conjugate, right? So, usually we multiply with conjugate when involving radical or set, right? Okay, so we will look at the first example here, right? Okay, so for example 3, we will use factorizing. Okay, before that, if we substitute the value of 3 here, so we have 3 squared, minus 9 so we have 0 for the numerator and the denominator as well we have uh, 3 minus 3 which is 0 right so you have here 0 over 0 right so we have idf therefore we have to apply factorizing or uh, conjugate multiply with conjugate all right okay what we can do here we can my we can factorize the numerator Right, we can write it as x plus 3 times x minus 3. Right, after we factorize, right, we can cancel out something here. So we can cancel out x minus 3, x minus 3. Right, so we are left here with the limit of x plus 3 when x approaching 3. Okay, next, we will apply substitution back. So, we substitute 3, right, into the limit. So, we have 3 plus 3, so we will have 6. Alright, so this is the limit here. Alright, after we do factorization method. Right, the next one. Okay, look at here, if there's something. Before that, if we substitute 1, and then we will have 0 over 0 again. So, this is IVF. So, therefore, we need to apply factorization method here. Alright? Okay. So, right, the numerator has been factorized already. Okay. So, I can factorize the quadratic here. So, we will have here x minus 1 times x plus 4. Right here, we have x minus 2 times x plus 2 right something to be cancel out x minus 1 x minus 1 and then we can also cancel out x minus 2 and x minus 2 all right class so now we are left with 1 over x plus 4 times x plus 2 where x approaching 1 Right, okay, so this is already the simplified form, so we can just substitute the value of 1. 1 over 1 plus 4 
times 1 plus 2. So here we will have 1 over 15. Thank you.